Hi, it's Kate French here, clinical psychologist at Side by Side Psychology, coming to you this afternoon um, to share with you a bit of a resource that might help you to be thinking about um, planning for the new year and just getting you over the school holidays as we head into that time of year where school is finishing, um, there's lots of extra activities on, lots of extra social things that can be kind of um, maybe causing a little bit of overwhelm for some of your children and teenagers. So I thought I'd share with you um, a book that I've had for a little while. Um, it's written by an occupational therapist um, and it's this one here called the Stay Cool and in Control with the Keep Calm Guru. Some of you might be familiar, um, she's written a number of other books under sort of similar titles. Um, another one that I've had for a number of years is the superhero called Self Control. Um, and it's written in a sort of similar way. But this one I really, really like because it's only quite a short book. So it's not very long. Um, it's really clearly um, delineated between um, activities um, and a reading style suitable for um, children sort of mid primary school through to high school can read. And then there's a section for the adults as well about how to use the book and how to use some of the, um, the ideas in here. So Lauren um, talks about um, different states called the just right state, um, the fast and wiggly, the fast and emotional, or even the slow and emotional as well. So she kind of breaks it down a little bit like the, the zones of regulation in terms of describing different emotional and physical states um, and getting kids to recognize what they're in, um, but uses, I suppose, even more simple language. Um, and then the book goes through so it talks about recognizing their just right stage and how to do that and then the book takes you through like a single page each for a different kind of strategy so this one here is doing a breathing check-in and she talks about different kinds of um, regulatory breaks so she talks about any time breaks big movement breaks and got some cool pictures which are essentially some cool yoga moves for big movement breaks. She talks about um, using strategies that you already have at hand. Um, and yeah, so there's some Velcroed everyday items page, but every page sort of for one strategy. So it's very clearly um, sort of laid out for you in the book, which I think is really great. The other thing that this book is really useful for um, is that all the handouts that they have sort of in the appendices, they've actually got already accessible on the Jessica Kingsley Publisher website. So in the book, she's actually got them listed as an appendix, but then you can actually go to their um, publisher website and click on the icon for that actual book, and then you can get um, them downloaded to your computer. So for example, she's got a sheet. This is the fast and emotional with visuals. So I'm going to hold that up there. So this is on an A4 page that I've printed off and she has the strategies with pictures. So that's the fast and emotional. Um, she has the fast and wiggly and with visual strategies as well. And, and again, with the slow and tired, that was the move, slow one, and different ideas. So she's done that, which is really great. So they're already done. Now they're in um, strips. So if you wanted to turn them into like a wristband for an ideas or tape them onto tables or split them off and put them onto resources inside of pencil cases or, or other places that would be an easy visual recognition for kids up on their bedroom door, anywhere you can kind of think of. So they've already kind of got them already set out for you. They've also got as one of the handouts is about 10 or 15 different handouts that are already on that website that you can download even without the book. They will be fairly self-explanatory and you can use them anyway. This is a checklist for the how do we know we're in our just right mode and how do we check in with our bodies and do some labeling of the pace of our body and what maybe emotions we're experiencing. Um, they've got a self-monitoring checklist already designed. 
as well and I've just laminated them for ease for later on um, they've got um, a template for my list of 10 now the my list of 10 it comes with an explanation sheet as well which I haven't laminated that's about getting kids to notice their strengths and things like that so it's really handy this is a really nice one as well she's got an already um, suggestion list of affirmations so helping kids to develop some positive mindsets and positive thoughts about themselves so at this time of year um, and even thinking about in the January before kids go back um, having some really positive things for them to say about themselves to help settle their anxiety is a really useful thing to have already done so I really think this could be um, a great resource for many kids um, like I said it's really simply written um, it's good for go they say ages between 7 and 14 and I think that's really appropriate it can go up to, to certainly middle high school kind of ages and maybe even older um, and like I said it's really clearly set out all the different strategies and um, yeah it has great visuals that come with it already which is cool so I know that this like I said this time of year is a great time of year to be thinking about what is going on are we feeling tired are we feeling excited are we feeling emotional so using this time of year to um, help your child explore what's happening for their bodies and what's happening about their emotions and certainly thinking about over the um, summer holidays coming up and leading into returning to school it seems like a long way away now but you know it'll come around very quickly so to be thinking about what kinds of um, ideas that you might be wanting to talk about with your child as we're leading into that that new year so I just wanted to share that with you this Friday afternoon um, if you felt that was useful or you've got any questions please pop them below um, but otherwise I will catch up with you at my next Friday live thanks for listening